And it looks like we're actually in the sandstorm. This will be fun. Hello everyone, welcome to the second episode of Neofly. We are continuing growing our business by completing cargo assignments, transporting people, or just anything else we've been given. Today we are taking some cargo about 90 miles west to deliver, and once we get that finished we'll see what the following missions are for today. As for the weather, it is a nice brisk morning. We just talked to dispatch and they said there was just a little bit of wind from the southwest that's supposed to kick up later this morning. Our runway is right there, right behind us, so once we get loaded, we'll taxi out and get on our way. Transporter from dispatch. Fly safe. And we've arrived at the crash site. Unfortunately, there is a lot of trees uh, around this area, so it'll be a little difficult to find a place to land. Uh, looks like over by the river there, I can find something. So we'll do a quick transition over there, get uh, right down next to the river, drop the doctor off, and we'll head right out and loop back around, get back to the airport for our next mission.
and throughout the day the visibility has been getting steadily worse. I talked to dispatch again and it seemed like the winds were getting stronger and sure enough just as we cleared the mountain pass on the way back home visibility did get much worse and we could begin to see these huge clouds of sand forming just underneath us unfortunately i uh, expect visibility to get worse as we're gonna have to descend into that to get back home this evening I'm expecting uh visibility just to get steadily worse but hopefully we'll be able to find the runway and to make our preparation to land, we're gonna check our fuel and we'll monitor our engine as we come in. I don't know how much sand the engine has been ingesting, but that is something to keep aware of, especially when you're flying through something such as this. Probably gonna watch our windshield as well because the sand is very abrasive and it's most likely going to start damaging the front of our windshield. It's gonna make it more foggy, make it much more difficult to see. So this is things that you really wanna consider when you're coming in. Now, hopefully you aren't flying in this to begin with. And now the autopilot is off. We'll be hand flying the rest of this approach. I want to get a tactile feel just to see how the ailerons are performing. Uh, the sand can get lodged into the uh, tracks and the different uh, and the different hinges of the plane. So having the autopilot off will really let you feel if there is any tension. And while uh, we're monitoring the feel of the plane, we'll be looking on the sides of our window to see if we can find any ground contact, any points of reference we can use. Uh, something very similar what you would use during a night landing to an airport that doesn't have much to offer in terms of lighting capabilities. Transporter from dispatch. Go to the parking so we can check the cargo status. Transporter from dispatch. Okay, nice job. Someone is coming to take the cargo. I'll call you when it's done. <laughs> 